Good day, class. Uh, today, our topic is uh, formulating research questions and objective of the study. As your um, in practical research too, of course, we are down to lesson three um, in part of second monthly test. If you have a book, you can actually check that on page 55. Okay, so formulating research questions and objective of the study, this lesson discusses the nature of a research problem where we might get ideas for a problem to investigate or uh, narrowing down or focusing on you have on a particular problem to address and uh, writing good research questions. Okay, again, we're done with uh, creating or writing your research title as well as how to uh, narrow down a certain topic. So after you have narrowed down your topic or problem, searching and reviewing existing literature may further clarify your research approach. Moreover, by identifying the conclusions of uh, previous research that are unclear or where gaps may exist in the literature, you will be better prepared to write your good research questions and uh, we're going to talk about how to formulate a research questions all right so um by the way class what is a research question so um a research question class is a way of expressing the res researcher interest in the problem or certain phenomenon but before anything else um i have a quotation here from chinese proverb he who asks a question remains a fool for five minutes he who does not ask remain a fool forever so class if you have any idea all you have to do is to comment to comment your answer write your name and that will serve your attendance again write your name your section and strand and this will serve your attendance okay again answer or uh, tell me why right how do you interpret this Chinese proverb? He who asks a question remain a fool for five minutes. He who does not ask remain a fool forever. So that's question number one. So this lesson class, I do have a two questions that you need to answer. And this is the question number one. I just want to make sure that you watch the video. And later part, I have a second question. So uh wait for that okay so what is research questions again is a way of expressing the re uh the researcher's interest in a problem or phenomenon each question should be clear and specific refer to the problem or whatever phenomenon is that okay and you have to reflect an intervention in experimental work and uh, note the target populations or participants okay that is the function or the purpose of the research question it's also identifying a research questions that will provide a greater focus to the research or clarity the direction of the investigation whether the research is descriptive or experimental all right so now we will be talking about what do you mean by descriptive what do I mean when I say experimental? I know you have a lot of questions in your mind, but allow me to uh, explain that on the next slides. So we have a characteristic and example of good research questions here. This scenario, for example, kindly read and uh, listen very carefully. Almost one fourth, okay? Almost one fourth of the students in the literature class of Ms. Sudusta are foreign students, okay? she is finding it difficult to make them uh, to make them read and comprehend literary pieces let me repeat almost one fourth of the students in the literature class of uh, miss sudusta are foreign students she is finding it difficult to make them read and uh, comprehend literary pieces since our topic here is uh, research questions then we will be formulating the right question so this is the scenario so what research question can be asked to help Ms. Sudusta? What are the possible questions that we'll be going to ask? So first, um, kindly think of this if this is the right one. Number one, 
what strategies will help the student improve their comprehension of the literary pieces? Second, will the use of cooperative learning help improve the reading skills and comprehension of foreign students? Again, I am writing or formulating a research questions here. But the problem, only one is the right questions here. All right? So let's talk about it first. First questions, what strategies will help the students improve their comprehension of the literary pieces? Second, will the use of cooperative learning help improve the reading skills and comprehension of foreign students? So which among of the previous slide or previous questions is a good research questions? So if you have something on your mind, this is the question number two comment your question below. Again, you have a question number one and question number two, kindly answer that. And after you answer, put your name, uh, just last name and then a section and your strand, okay? That will serve again your attendance. So we will be talking about this one or I will explain once we resume our uh, online class or synchronous, okay? because it's really hard to explain the differences between the two. So better I have to uh, explain it uh, during online class, all right? So you have to take down note that the specific or sub questions called research questions to uh, specify the scope and the method in collecting and uh, analyzing data give you the right direction in your research, okay? So the research question formulated give focus to the research as well as guide the appropriateness of the decision uh, the researcher made. So I'm trying to help you out class, at least to visualize the scenario that I just gave you earlier. And with the help of this, uh, with the help of this definition of what research is all about, you will have an idea which questions is really appropriate to ask, okay? And uh, Note, you have to take down note that as a quantitative research, problem can generate a set of research questions or sub-problems that uh, fall under any of the type of the research questions. So again, we, we talk about the experimental, we talk about the descriptive. So what are those? Okay. So let's talk about first the descriptive research questions. When we say descriptive research question, these are the questions or ask questions on the kind, kind, uh, qualifications, and categories of the subject or participants. So basically, from the word descriptive, it's simply highlighting those kind, uh, qualifications, categories associated on that particular scenario. Okay, so we called it descriptive research uh, questions. Of course, including the participants uh, associated within that particular scenario, okay? So we do have the relation questions. So we have descriptive. Now let's move on to relation questions. So relation question class, these are the questions about the nature, okay? The nature and manner of connection between or among variables. Again, class, we're done of identifying the different types of variables, okay? We do have also, aside from types, we do have an, uh, kinds of variables, right? We do have independent, dependent variables, so uh, things like that, okay? So we call it relation questions, okay? Um, cas uh, casual questions, these are another type of uh, research questions. Uh, which means reasons behind the effects of the independent variable on the dependent variable is the focus of these types of research questions. So these are like casual questions, right? Um, looking back on this particular scenario, if you think this might be applicable to the scenario that I just gave you, then most probably you can make your own, um, you can distinguish rather which one of uh, which among, I'm sorry, which be, which one is correct between the two questions that I just uh, provided earlier, all right? So those, those three are the most common one that we are using when it comes to research questions. Again, 
aside from research question class, we do have E2 approaches, okay? Two approaches to quantitative research questions. We do have number one, which is deductive approach. When we say deductive, deductive approach goes from the bigger ideas such as theories or concepts to uh, smaller ideas, right? So from general to specific, something like that, right? From general to specific, we call it like the deductive approach. From the bigger ideas such as theories or concepts to smaller ideas. So for example, class, who are our national heroes? All right, so there's a lot of national heroes. So from general, we have to come up with the very specific. And then we will go down to Dr. Jose Rizal, something like that, right? So that become more specific. Um, inductive approach class, uh, focus on description of things to probe, which is central to this approach, are specific details to prove the validity of a certain theory or concept. Opposite from deductive, this one is from uh, a specific one, Okay, a specific one, then go to the different or associated problem within, okay, from specific to general, okay. Kanina, general, we narrow it down to specific, and this one, this kind of approach is from a specific, we'll go to uh, the bigger side or the bigger picture of that particular problem, maybe, okay. So next, um... With regards to these two types of approach class, I'm going to give you a lot of examples um, because I want to make sure I can assess you uh, how can you construct your own uh, research questions. So for, uh, for the meantime, answer all the given questions, okay? They have two questions that I just gave you. Without answer, just a name, uh, it will not count it, okay? So make sure there's an answer, there's your last name, strand, and section. All right. So thank you so much for uh, for watching and listening this. I hope you learned something. So see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.